For 24 hours a day, South Metro firefighters are standing vigil to honor one of their fallen comrades. Troy Jackson passed away yesterday following a long battle with a job-related cancer. Our Kelly Worthman talked to just one of the many firefighters who was taking part in this honor watch. And Kelly, this is a really important tradition. And Karen, it's a long, a long time tradition that exemplifies how firefighters will always answer the call to serve and will never leave their fallen behind. When a firefighter signs up for Honor Watch, there's a lot of different motivations. One, they know the person that they're watching over. Two, they know that it's part of our camaraderie and sometimes it's just to be a part of a much bigger team. When a firefighter's life comes to an end, a solemn yet powerful honor watch tradition begins. It's taking care of something that the family doesn't have to worry about. And when South Metro Fire Rescue lost one of its own, there was no hesitation to ensure Troy Jackson was never alone. The sign up filled up before I even had the opportunity to get my four hour block. Since the assistant chief of operations passed away Monday morning from a rare job related cancer, at least two firefighters have been with Jackson taking shifts around the clock. The importance of Honor Watch is one, never leaving your brother or sister behind. And in the last week, Chief Rhodes has watched over two fallen brothers, first Summit County firefighter Ken Jones, and now his late friend, Troy Jackson. It's painful in the fact that we've lost two more firefighters. For any of us who are doing Honor Watch, there is no comparison to what the family feels. We're just doing our part. And this honor watch will continue until Chief Jackson's funeral, which is set for this Friday morning at Denver First Church, and it is open to the public. We have additional details at CBSDenver.com. Reporting live in Centennial, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. It's one tight-knit group, Kelly. Thank you.